I'm going to be building a different kind of project. It's actually a trophy for another channel. Uh, they contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in doing that. Uh, the concept for this is to make the body of the trophy all from maple and then have a ring that circles just below the top that has letters cut into it. That'll be the challenging part of this build, I guess. My rough planks are three and a half inches wide. I got to trim them down. I don't really have to. I can glue this up as it is, but then that would mean more work on the lathe afterward. I've got my mini table saw sled set up on the saw here. These are rounded over on the corner, unfortunately, so I have to cut that off. Now I've added a stop block to the sled and I'll cut them again to make them exactly three inches square. Now I'm just going to glue them together, these three pieces. I'm going to reserve the last one because that's going to get added to the top after. I'm just going to spread some glue on here. And then I've made some simple guide blocks to hold the corners in alignment until the glue dries. The glue dried up completely, but I've got some squeeze out here. I'm just going to quickly scrape that off in my vise. I cleaned off the glue squeeze out mainly so that I can clip off the corners here at the table saw. That way I won't have to do that on the lathe. Now that I've got the corners clipped off, I can get it mounted in the lathe here. I already had the blank mounted before just to get the centers right. Now I'll tighten this up and then I can start turning. First thing I want to do is get the thing basically round. And you might notice that I'm using regular one inch chisel to do this. This is the way I've been turning for years. It's certainly not the way that I recommend you learn turning, but it works for me. I've got the basic shape of it in mind already. So it's just more or less to cut away the wood until I find that shape inside there. I've got the base done and I'm happy with the way that turned out. It's a good shape. I also made the upper ring and that is going to be spaced up by the ring of letters that go around the trophy right here. So the next thing I need to do is make that ring of letters. So I've got my two pieces of sepalia right here. I've cut them down to size to length and I've also cut them a little bit thinner so that they'll make the right size ring and then I'm going to lay the ring that I already made on top of them and then trace around the inside and the outside so that I can cut that out on the bandsaw. The bandsaw leaves a bit of a rough cut so I'll smooth that out on the disc center. Okay, well, it took a little bit of messing around, but I got the letters pasted on there with some glue stick. And now I'm ready to cut it out. I've got to separate this into two halves. And I'm going to do this all by hand in my vise with a coping saw. Well, this is going to take a while for sure, but I really can't see any other way of doing it. Not with the equipment that I have. Maybe a better way, and this is the way that I was thinking about originally, was to cut out the letters individually, more or less flat, and then just stack them around the rim on the base, and then set the top ring in place. But I think that this is going to give a more uniform and more finished appearance. I started out with it in the vise, but I found that it was restricting me too much, so... I'm kind of doing it freehand and embracing it up in the vise like this just so I can hold it loosely or tightly actually and then make the cuts across like this. 
very tricky to do very delicate after you start cutting out the letters so got to be careful but then again there's always glue i can always glue it back together if it breaks well, i managed to get all of the letters cut out as you can see here and i also glued it onto the base part and i glued the top ring on as well now i'm going to put it back in the lathe and I'm not going to do any turning, I'm just going to do some sanding on here to try to even everything out. Okay, that looks pretty good on the outside. All I need to do now is clean up the letters a little bit. They are still a little bit rough in there. Cutting out what the coping saw does that. So I've got some needle files here that I'm just going to use to clean up the inside of the letters. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how the letters turned out. They're still a little bit uh, rustic, we could say, but no problem to read what they say. Let's play VAT 19. Looks great. I got to put handles on here now, and I'm going to cut those out of this piece of uh, the same type of wood that I made the body from. That's maple. I cut it into a piece that's a quarter inch thick. And I'm holding it up here, and I think I'm going to make it flat across the top up here. And then make it swoop down kind of to mirror the curve that I have here. So I'm just going to freehand draw that right on there. And then I'll cut the both of them out on the bandsaw. And then fine-tune the fit on the belt sander until I can get them tight enough to glue on. All right, because there's such a small contact area, and these are kind of sticking out, I'm going to use the strongest glue that I have, and that's epoxy, to stick them on one at a time. It also uh, sets up faster so that I can get on with the finishing. Well, I've got both handles put on and the epoxy is set and looks pretty good. What do you think? I think it looks awesome. The handles uh, really don't serve any function other than, you know, you grab it like that and then you shake it above your head, you know, in triumph type thing. I think they suit the trophy really well. So I'm going to take it outdoors now and spray on the finish. And I'll probably wind up giving it two or three coats and I'll sand in between the coats. So it ends up being nice and smooth on the outside. After I got the finish put on, I had a closer look at it and I decided that it looked a little bit small. So I made a base for it to make it look more impressive. And I used the same wood that I used on the top, the sapele and the maple. This trophy is for VAT19. VAT19 sells curiously awesome products and makes videos about those products. They also do toys and unique board games, and that's where you'll see this trophy featured.